A shower? Yeah, let's build it. If I might have a chick out here, need to have some place to clean off when we get dirty. All right, that's all the cleaning I'm doing. So if you guys remember, I had a solar bag here and that's how I'd shower, fill it up. This is still water from last summer, probably. Yeah, I had a solar bag out here. You fill it with water, heats up, turn a little knob, water comes out, work great. But on uh, cold days, not so sunny days, it wasn't very hot, so that ain't no good. I had this water pump over here, worked great until the pump didn't work no more. So that ain't gonna work. <laughs> it's stuck in the tree. But I am lucky enough to have Brazos Valley soaps. Whether the water is cold or warm, this stuff makes me feel good. Yeah. Check out Brazos Valley soaps. The Crocker's been sponsored since the first time they sent me something. But what I do have is a blue bucket. Yeah. It's not just any blue bucket. It's a bucket that can make water warm. Let's check it out. So this will hook on here later. I'll show you that. Hose. Hose. We got hose everywhere. And then we got this. Got your uh, instructions that I probably won't read. That. And then we got the water heater. This is gonna be my new best friend. I'm not gonna throw that. We're gonna gently set this right here for product placement. Some more stuff. Those are some big D's, some double D's. We got some double D's up in here. All right, here's the pump. We got a lot of stuff in here. Dang. Shower head. So this is the bottom, and then I think you put your hot water heater. Well, it's just a water heater, not really a hot water heater, because it's not hot water yet. It keeps the hot water warm. But yeah, so that goes on there, which is pretty cool. I guess we take the plastic off. It did its job getting here. But now I don't need it. So this is gonna go in here, sit there, push it in. All right. All right, so next step, we're gonna move this right here. Product placement. And we're going to try not to let you guys look down my shorts because you might be disappointed. Put these together. I hope you don't need thread in there. Tighten these up. All right. It's pretty easy. Then on the bottom up here, got this. Got this. Hook it on. Easy enough. Then you got your blue cables, this easy uh, thing right here to keep them where they need to be, whatever they're called. And then uh, look to be the same. So we're gonna put one over here, pull this cap off. This cap help keep dirt and stuff from going in there. Same thing, pull it down, stick it on, easy peasy. Same thing with the red one, easy peasy cap off stick it on there it's easy on 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 we're gonna lift this up bring these around back put this back here put it on there put this back on easy to go all right so now we're gonna get the cord from the back or the uh, hose the blue hose you get the other blue hose here is your pump it's very simple and we're going to hook it on again like this. Stick it all the way on. Make sure when it goes all the way in. There you go. And then we're gonna get the other side of this. All the way in. There you go. 
So now you got this part to the pump into here. So another cool part is, of course, you got your pump here, but um, you never know what type of water you have living off grid. I collect rainwater, river water, stuff like that. So it does come with the filter, which is awesome. You can just hook it on and then drop this right into your water bucket. Or if you're down by the river, it comes with this little piece so you can stick it in there and then just hold it all the way on, then hook it on. So now when you put it in the river, it'll sit there on the bottom and your filter won't be directly in the nasty rocks and stuff. It'll hold it up. So that's an awesome, awesome feature. Uh, over here, I'll have this off because I need to stick it down in a water bucket, but you just, that's it. It's very simple, very easy to do. I like that, simple and easy, I like that. So with this pump, it comes with a uh, cigarette lighter and uh, just undo this. You get a pretty long cord. So luckily for me, I can either hook this in my Jeep, I have my Jackery, whatever I need to do, and I can charge it. Just plug it in here, plug it in, turn it on, you're good to go. Very, very simple, very easy, and uh, it's, I don't know, I don't think it can get any easier than that. So one thing I do need to do is take this off, put it here, and then this pops out. They supply you with, uh, Double A bat or double A double D batteries. Pop these bad boys in. Even shows you how to do it like that. Like this. Put it back in here. Make sure it's going the right direction. That's it, it's pretty simple. Now you got power to it. All right guys, so I got my Jackery here, as you guys can see, and it's got a little 12 volt. Plug this in, turn it on. All right, it's on. Now let's see, works. This is the only power that we have out here is this Jackery, totally off grid, totally uh, no power to anything else. And works all right guys so used to have my solar bag up here they gave me this awesome little bracket so i'm gonna stick it up here that way the hose goes on it and that's how you can take a shower and stuff so i'm not really sure exactly where i'm gonna do it so this will be trial and error all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hook the red onto here this is the cool little shower and you got buttons and everything stick it on there put your shower head down might be a little high but for now, we'll just stick the shower head down, stick that up there, and then you turn it on and off. Yeah, it's probably a little high. Let's bring it down. All right. Yeah, that seems a little better. We'll do that. That's an easy way to uh, on and off. So there you go. All right, guys, I got my propane here. Got this part, it's brand new. They say that it lasts up to 15 hours a tank which is a lot of hot showers if done correctly all right turn this on there you go all right so as you can see this is my little makeshift spot right for this for now just to test it all out i got my jackery it's plugged in i got my water pump right here i've got and all this is supposed to be waterproof so i'm not worried about any of this in the moment. So I got my water pump. I got uh, the filter part. We'll have that hang there even though you probably shouldn't. But I think it'd be fun. And then I got some water here. So it's a five gallon tank. I did about two gallons. I'm just gonna stick it right in there, down on the bottom. And that is rain water. And then you got this over here. It should all be powered up through this. Well, this is just your pump. And then the batteries that were in here should get this going. And then this is how hot you want your water, I'm assuming. So let's go ahead and crank this on and give it a shot. All right, guys, I got the uh, Jackery going. Let's turn the pump on. Let's see if this works. And it doesn't. 
Oh, it's not working. Let's troubleshoot. Pump works. Oh, that's probably not supposed to be there. All right, take that off. Put this back on. There's probably another one. Yep. That's why you read instructions. Take that off. Let's put this on. All right. Now let's see if it'll work. Oh yeah. Pump the water now. And it works. So you can control everything with just the on and off switch. So that's pretty freaking awesome. I'm gonna turn it back on and let's see how hot this can get, how quick it can get hot. Okay, so the pump's still on. It's cold. It's still cold so something over here isn't kicking it on so let's figure that out all right so i was just messing with it and the thing was this was turned all the way it was just too much water coming through so i dialed it down and then it turned on let's see turn this on and there you go cranked on water so we're good all right guys so i kind of got it set up a little bit uh to try a test shower i added some more water there is, it's at the three gallon mark. I have a feeling it's gonna go through water a little quick. So I have it turned out as low as it can go. So the only thing now is see how fast it can heat up and how hot it can heat up and how good of a shower. So let's do this. So I got my Brazos Valley soaps here. Let's get clean. Sorry, chill people. You got to go. This needs to go too. Dad bod without the dad part. All right, let's see. I'm gonna uh, kind of aim it this way a little bit, so I'm not getting this all wet for now. All right, three, two, one. It's cold. Still cold. Oh, it's warming up a little bit. Ooh, there you go. That's warm. 117 degrees. All right, it's getting kind of hot. So we're gonna dial this down a little bit. This is actually, this is amazing. 100, 118 degrees, I like that. 100, 115 so, so. Take a shower. Man, this is amazing. Valley. I use this on everything. My hair. My face. Armpits. And my man goods. Y'all can't see that. This is kid friendly. Man, this is amazing. It's going through water pretty fast, though. It's going down a lot. Crevices, kids. All right, so that's a pretty good shower. Turn it off. I don't know how long that was. Well, have to time it on there, but that was pretty good. Um, and then you turn it back on. Still hot. Turn it off. Good to go. So it got up to 115 degrees, somewhere around there. That was a freaking awesome shower. Uh, it used. 
uh, a whole gallon. No, two gallons. I used two gallons in a matter of minutes, so that's kind of scary. So we'll have to figure that one out later. It's be perfect taking it down the river. I don't think I brought a towel. I gotta figure out how to dry off now. Air dry. Alright guys, so this thing is freaking awesome. You got your whole uh, heating system here. All you gotta do is plug it in and you're good to go. The only reason I even needed this pump is because I'm fully off grid. If you're not off grid, you can just plug it straight into a water source and you're good to go. So that's very, very easy to do. But for me, this works absolutely perfect. It even works even better that I had the Jackery to power this. And so I could literally take it anywhere. I could take it down to the river. I could take it with me on camping trips, uh, trips to my brother's house. Um, as you guys know, we had the bad ice storms and all that stuff a while back and it screwed everybody's plumbing up. No one had a good source of water. So I could have gone down the river, got water and use the propane they said the propane takes um, it takes 15 hours for that to go out so that's pretty crazy so I can literally take this anywhere uh, this is something I was telling Jared about I was like you should buy one put it out in your man cave because worst case scenario you still got a shower in case things happen again and then the cool part is it comes with these attachments it's for a sink so it's the same thing they got these splitters and you hook it up and you do all that stuff and you can have a sink it comes with the tub and everything that you can use as the tub for it um, i'm going to set up in here a more permanent thing and uh that'll probably be on my, one of my next videos i just really want to test this out i wanted to make sure it worked good for my needs before i do a full-blown outdoor shower but this is awesome uh these actually come with magnets on the back it stays that way if you want to use these on your car you can i think that's is that plastic or metal? That's metal. So um, if you want to, you know, use these on your vehicles or whatever, you can even hook it up here. And uh, I don't know why you would, but you could turn it on, have a little faucet going, and you can wash dishes and stuff like that. It's super cool, but these you can just stick to the side of your car door, whatever. So I will be taking this, uh, you know, on some trips and stuff, and then down the river, take a bunch of showers there. So I am extremely excited for this. This is not a paid promotion whatsoever. They told me that uh, they would send me this, and then if I wanted to make like a commission, that they would give me a link and all that stuff. And I said, honestly, I don't even care about that. I didn't I just care about the product. Um, you ain't got to pay me for no sales or nothing. Um, so I don't want you guys to think that I'm pushing this. But um, just with the quick use of it so far, it's freaking awesome. They did give me a link that you can click on that will just show that you came from... Um, my uh, video or whatever. I'm not making any money, so don't worry about that. But I will put a link down in the description if you'd like to check it out. Um, I think there's different packs. I'm not 100% sure, but you can go check that out. This is an awesome, awesome thing, whether you're off-grid, camping, or you just want a backup source in case what happened a while back happens again and everyone's plumbing screwed up. You can at least still have a hot shower, hot water, do your dishes, whatever you need to do. This is awesome. All you need is a bucket of water. Uh, the only downside I see of this so far is it does go through water fairly quickly. I don't know how long that shower was, but it went through two gallons of water in maybe like five minutes, something like that. So this is perfect if you have an endless source of water down by the river or whatever, or you just have a huge tank. Um, here, unfortunately, I don't have unlimited water, so I will be figuring something out. I'll probably even do something where it kind of like blocks the uh, pressure coming out, uh, something of that nature, I don't know. But um I don't know, it worked great for me. Uh, again, now that I know this works, I'm gonna do a whole setup out here. Um, this is waterproof from what they said. You can leave this outside, it's not gonna hurt it. This is plastic, this is metal. Um, all this is plastic and hoses and stuff. So it's you're not gonna hurt it, but I will like to build something so you're not staring at this, you're not staring at the uh, uh, propane tank. I'll probably put the propane tank on the outside, that way it's not in here, um, but I will, set it up a lot better i just had to take a shower i had to test this out this is the first time in probably a year that i had hot water out here before i had another system like this but unfortunately it messed up it leaked after a few uses and i was very bummed about that because i was super pumped about having hot water but 
having this. Um, this is built a little bit different, so I think this will be pretty good. And uh, yeah, to have hot water and hot showers out here for almost the first time since I moved out here. I had very few hot showers before, and I've been out here for, I don't know, a year and three, four months, something like that. So this is a total game changer, and you guys have said, Jason, if you're going to get a girlfriend, you have to have a place to shower. So that's what I did. So maybe you guys will meet my girlfriend soon now that I have a hot water shower out here. So I just want to say thanks to Hot Tap. I think this is a, I don't even know how you say it, Julka? I don't know. It's J-O-O-L-C-A, however you say that. Um, I'll probably say it wrong, but uh, this thing is freaking awesome. So I will leave a link down in the description. Um, if you like this video, awesome. If you don't, awesome. Uh, I, I like this and that's all I care about. So I just want to say a huge thank to this company for reaching out to me, sending this totally free. They just said, put it in your video. You can make money on it. And I said, don't care about the money because I ain't a sellout like them other channels. So just trying to look for a cool product for myself and to show you guys uh, as of right now, two thumbs up. I'm going to keep testing this. I'm going to build out a cool area out here now that I know that it works really, really well, how it works, uh, where this needs to be and stuff like that. And I'll have a sink and everything. And then the beauty of this is if I really wanted, I can have this pump into the house, into the tiny house. This could be my hot water setup for the inside. I can have a faucet, I could have a shower head, and it just stays on all the time. You hit the button, of course it's not plugged in, on and off, and that's what makes it turn on and off. So I don't have to go out, turn this on and off, all that stuff, just keep it on, and then you go out there, click it on and off, hot water on the house. So pretty freaking excited. So guys, see you in the next one, and uh, who knows what I'll be getting into, but now, Thanks to this, I can have a girlfriend.